The workloads that we have currently, no matter where we are staying at home or at workplace, it's quite impossible to think that we can complete those works without multitasking. New studies, however, have uncovered this thing that multitasking is actually of a great concern. These studies also have suggested that multitasking causes us to make more mistakes, retain less information, and also it actually changes how our brain functions. So this thing raises lots of questions, whether multitasking is good for us or not but there is also a thing that multitasking we can make it efficient now the multitasking lovers please just sit tight because in this video I will go in depth about multitasking how our brain is getting affected but if you want to multitask how you can do it more efficiently and if you still think that those points are not working for you then just kick those points out and follow the other points that I'll be explaining in the end of this video. Stay tuned. Now, let's first understand how our brain is affected when we do multitasking. In our everyday society, doing multitasking or doing lots of works at the same time is kind of praiseworthy but a study in the journal of experimental psychology said the opposite thing authors finally revealed that multitasking is less efficient and it also makes us less productive because you have to shift from one task to another which is actually quite harmful because it impairs with our cognitive performance too and side by side it also takes extra time and energy to just change those mental gears which we need to shift from one task to another. Our brain is not wired in the way that we can actually handle lots of tasks or multiple tasks at the same time and when we try to do that, it led to something which is known as the switching costs. Means when you try to switch from one task to another, it requires extra energy, extra mental efforts and also lead to a thing or term known as attention residue. Now what attention residue is, let me just clarify in a simple example that is, let's say you are shifting from, you are doing task A and you have been shifting from task A to task B constantly and the other tasks. Now let's say while you are shifting from task A to task B, a residue from task A will go with you to the task B that will impair your cognitive performance and ultimately will give you much worse results. Now the question arises, why does the brain function in that way when you try to do complicated works? Why can't we do that properly? Why does it impair our cognitive performance? So it has been found from an article provided by University of South California which has also been, I mean that article has also been sourced from other research papers. So this is completely scientific based and this is because the brain the prefrontal cortex of our brain it's us while we have to do any kind of tough cognitive performance or tough neurological jobs for that reason while we are focused on one specific task the two parts of the prefrontal cortex of our brain works together in harmony but when we just try to focus or try to shift from one task to another both the parts of prefrontal cortex of our brain start working individually which actually hinders our productivity and there arises likelihood of making more mistakes this thing is what i have explained till now it stands for just doing complicated works or that are actually um that actually need active works of our brain or we need more focus here is a good news for the multitasking loving people and that is you can multitask but not on the works those are active that means let's say you are cooking and you are also talking that the thing that i do while I'm, I'm cooking i just talk to my mom or my parents at home or also let's say i'm doing any kind of self-care i'm just watching any kind of videos that uh, that will actually reduce my time and i can add more stuffs on the other part of the day i'm just watching the video which i was i will be watching tonight but i'm just watching in the afternoon time so tonight i can do other stuffs because i have watched the video so these things you can actually shift between different works which are which actually doesn't need any kind of focus is just kind of passive works so at that time you can do multitasking so yeah here's a positive point of doing multitasking let's say it's not always possible to work without doing multitasking it's true we have to multitask in Let's just take the example of the corporate people who have to work in teams, who always have to remain insanely organized and I mean they, ha they have to be ridiculously organized. So at that time you have to remember that you have to multitask but in a proper efficient manner. And so now we will discuss some good takeaways of multitasking. That means I mean scientifically how we can actually make multitasking more efficient. A 2021 Frontiers in Psychology study said that 
in this generation or in this digital era, it's quite important that if you ever multitask, you have to do it efficiently to be more productive and this is actually possible. So sit tight, here comes the interesting part. Study found that while attempting to do lots of tasks together can diminish your productivity. But the perception of multitasking has actually been found to boost your productivity. Now, the keyword over here is perception. And this is really important to understand what perception over here in terms of multitasking means. And it was also found in a study. Among 32 studies, there have been participants of, let's say, I guess 8,242. So, I mean, they have been studied and it was said that the people who actually uh, had the perception of multitasking actually did work more properly, did a great job, even they had a perception of multitasking than those people who were just single-handedly handling only one task. So, have you understood that thing? No. So this, this thing actually clearly simplifies that if you have a good perception of multitasking, you can actually do multitasking in an efficient manner. Shalina, who is actually a UX researcher at Meta, said this thing that we find that multitasking is often a matter of perception that helps rather than harms engagement and performance. Thus, we can engage, sorry, thus when we engage in a given activity, considering it as multitasking could help us. So this thing I have personally tried. This is because I, I said that multitasking efficiently is possible and that is through perception. So what you can do is you first have to create the list of the tasks that you have to just shuffle from one to another. And then you have to tell yourself in your mind or visualize that I can multitask in an efficient manner because I have to cl complete all of these works. So you, you will then start finding efficient ways of multitasking and how you can complete those works at the same time okay so this is the thing of perception that you have to tell yourself or visualize that you can multitask but in proper manner not in the unhealthy way you might get confused that what is the unhealthy way and what is the healthy way of multitasking the unhealthy way is say you are studying chemistry and side by side you are also texting back your um, customer <laughs> Let's say you're doing a business and you're texting back your customer that yes, your product is ready, it will be dispatched tomorrow and also you're studying chemistry and you don't know what you're studying. So don't do this thing. What you have to do is you have to organize. That means let's say 10, for 10 minutes you have been completely focused on the topic that you have been studying. Let's take a five minutes break and you're just replying your customer and then you come back again and study for 25 minutes and then go back and check whether you your customer has replied or not or is there any other messages or not. So these things, I mean, this thing what you can do when you have lots of works to do together so this thing is actually called uh, time blocking that means what you are doing in that time you just have to do that specific thing you cannot mix with each other so if you mix that is unhealthy multitasking so now these tips are really important and these tips are scientifically backed tips how you can avoid unhealthy multitasking but make it more efficient so let's say you will just select one task one most important task from your to-do list that you have to do after you wake up tomorrow in the morning next is using pomodoro technique now i have a video i guess you can watch over there because pomodoro technique people are like uh for some people pomodoro technique might work or might not work and uh yeah pomodoro technique actually actually i feel pomodoro technique is really really good for me it works so you have to check whether pomodoro technique works for you or not i guess it works for everyone pretty much so the next or the third point is to avoid distractions <laughs> remember what i told earlier while you are doing one task don't just go on your phone and start replying to texts or messages just if you're using uh let's say ios versions or macbook or iphone there is an option default option that is do not disturb mode so you can select for how many hour or hours you don't want to get disturbed by any kind of texts or messages so you can do that and that's that's really helpful fourth point to avoid multitasking and making it more efficient is taking regular intervals this this works gorgeous let's say i have been studying for 30 minutes now I will take five minutes of break and I will just re-energize myself in that five minutes. It's not like I will just see all my texts and reply all those texts. It's not like that. It's like re-energizing yourself, thinking about what you have done in 
the previous 30 minutes are you really grateful to yourself for completing the 30 minutes without wasting a single second another point is or the fifth point is block your time and that is you have to block your time means you have to decide for what time you'll be doing what thing or you'll be studying what topic let's say so blocking your time or blocking your tasks is really important because that will help you to become more productive like uh, this is all the same points kind of because you have to be really really serious about your time that when your pomodoro time is running when you are in the do not disturb mode just just imagine just think that if you are doing other tasks in that thing then it doesn't make sense you are multitasking it doesn't make sense what you're running behind what pomodoro technique you are using what do not disturb mode you have turned on it doesn't matter if you are just not careful about your time so you have to be focused you have to kind of tell yourself that this is the time i'll i'll be except for the next 30 minutes i'll be the most focused person in this world so if you really enjoyed this video and if you want to watch other videos like this then you can just check out this video of mine which is on pomodoro technique that i have taught earlier to watch and also this video which is on how to finish the task that you have started and this is actually a book review of uh, finish what you start which i have read like several months ago so you can just check out that so and also if you like this video just don't forget to hit a thumbs up button and also if you're new to this channel subscribe if you like the the hard works that take to make these kind of videos you have to research you have to edit you have to think about the thumbnail <sighs> the title etc so if you just appreciate the efforts then just go ahead and hit the subscribe button and tell your friends to watch the videos and thank you very much for watching. We will inshallah meet in the next video. Till then, stay safe. Assalamu alaikum.